You did it. How do you feel? Damn, dude. Is it on right now? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's Damn. on. Shout out to Tony. At yo, what did I tell you, bro? Like, yeah, shout out to Tony at uh, Markham Honda. Yo. Tony, you. Okay, so I got the Honda part. It's 100% coming in next week. So if you guys want to see what I got, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like. Don't forget to like. Yeah, don't forget to like to help the algorithm. Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, for now, we're going to head back and we're going to start the exhaust fabrication. Oh, my God. Because... <laughs> Um, I'll show you guys later. My exhaust looks really ugly right now. <laughs> and that's what happens when you get a stock, super stock, no option CRV. Dude, it's okay. We're going to fix that. Yeah, we're going to fix it. All right, see you All guys right, back see at, you home. at home. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're back at home. Uh, did a bumper video. Link in the description down below if it just so happens that you have a CRV and you want to mod the exhaust tips, which I doubt anyone else will. But all right, so that video is done. And now we're going to cut these exhaust tips so if you guys look at the exhaust tips they're like super ugly so i didn't show you guys with the bumper on but if you find an image on google the stock crv uh the base model ones they point down super ugly we're gonna cut this off and see if we can fit our aftermarket exhaust tips so let me show you guys the exhaust tips and all the other parts i have right now i have two acra acropovic acropovic hold on stop focusing yeah. Oh. Okay. I have two Acropovic exhaust tips. Uh, Wait, you have it upside down. Oh, sorry. They're 100% made in Slovenia, not in China. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. I bought these in China. They're 20 bucks each. If you buy them on eBay and ship them to Canada, they're like 50 bucks each. So I guess you could say I, I saved myself a little bit of money, but like not kind of a plane ticket. These are supposed to fit directly on the CRV touring model, but as you can see, not a touring model. So I have to fabricate. The exhaust a bit and i think i might even need to buy a little bit of a spacer but we'll see later okay next up i bought a reciprocating saw uh i don't really have any other uses for this except for the exhaust tip but my parents can use them to like trim the hedges and stuff okay so to cut the exhaust tips i got this i got the diablo steel demon reciprocating blades and they're supposed to be super sharp cut through the metal like butter the other thing that we're going to do for this exhaust bumper fabrication is replace the OEM diffuser part or lower valence as they call it with one with cutouts so this was a gift from Anish shout out to Anish for helping me record and giving me this as a present okay as you guys can see the OEM bumper doesn't have cutouts whereas this new one it does have a cutout so that's gonna hopefully fit for our exhaust tip we're kind of going along and recording so we're not 100% sure if it fits but we're gonna try to find a way to make it work so yeah, I think first thing we're going to do is mask off the exhaust and we're just going to get straight into cutting it with the reciprocating saw. I'm just going to start where it bumps up, but I have a feeling that I'm going to have to cut it starting over here. Yeah, just dodge. I think this is a decent place to start because it gets really wide starting. Actually, my first time using the saw, but it looks pretty intuitive and I'm just going to send it on this. All right, so here's the saw. You know, like what? It's like the size of like if you have like a lawn chair. It's like <laughs> that long. So you just uh, open up this lock, put the blade in. Yeah. Yeah. So it's secure. I'm just gonna test it in the air first, so I don't fuck anything up. Giggle. Okay. Ooh. Can I start with that? I think I might start with that. Oh. Yeah. Wait, is that half? That's three out of like 10. So I'm gonna start here just to do a test cut. Oh my god. Oh god. Um, Is that any slower? Hmm. No, 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 no. I think it's just vibrating a lot. I don't know how to stop it from vibrating. Okay, vibrate. your battery's flashing now. Oh, flashing? Okay, yeah. Can we just slip it off? If it keeps moving, I'm just gonna jack it up until it hits the thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, try number two. Yeah, that's Holy just hitting fuck. my legs, bro. Yeah. That's so loud. All right. Um. I thought it was going to be actual little butter. butter <laughs> Dude, that's pretty butter. For metal? All right, yeah, I got to keep going for sure. 
All right, I'm just gonna send on this. We have to hammer it a bit later. Cause it's good. I don't know. It's just how it looks right now, but it's like wider. Yeah. All right, if you're doing this, make sure you buy earbuds, cause or like earmuffs, cause yo, it's so fucking loud. <laughs> so I didn't know it was so loud. I'm just I gonna... definitely not doing anything. Yeah. No, these are like. They're like, if you stuff them in your ear enough, it's like you're like ear plugs, so. Ah! No more going back now. Yeah. No more going back. That sounds so much better. They're with a welder. Okay, so if I match it to the bottom, it's missing this much space, so I'm thinking either hammer it or cut it deeper. But the problem is like, if I cut deeper, then this is gonna be a little sunk in, right? Um, what do you think, Anish? Cut it like a tiny bit? Uh, it's kind of hard to like cut a tiny bit now, right? Cause, you know, I just I'm feel like, like we should try to put the bumper back on now and, and mock it up mm -hmm. to see if we need to extend like this piping. Or should I, actually like you said, let's loosen this. Oh yeah. yeah let me loosen this first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, so we don't know if the exhaust fits and how far we want it to stick out, so. We're just gonna replace this first and then mock it up on the car and uh, see how much we wanna cut off or not cut off. So let me show you guys how to take off and replace this valence thing. Okay, so super simple how to take this thing off. All these clips here, you wanna undo with the pry tool and then uh, one clip here and one clip here and then it pops off and then you just replace it with the other one. I think that's what they didn't teach in high school, man. That's good. Like why would you pay OSAP off if it's only time plus one? It's good when you buy car parts. Okay. So what about you? This one removed. It has exhaust cutouts, but Wait, not what really, the? dude. They're not oh, really. Shit. They're not really exhaust <laughs> cutouts. You know. Yeah, put it side by side. Let's see. It's the same thing. No, bro, not the same thing, bro. It's the details. Look at the little, little details. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. It's almost just destroyed this fucking clip. Bro, watch this shit. Oh, actually, it's gonna get dirty again. Yeah. Look at this thing, yo. Oh, it looks sick. Oh. <laughs> dude. It's like, I have a touring model now. Did you have to yeah, put this in, dude? Better. Yeah, you can put it out. Yeah, that goes, oh, oh shit. Oh man. shit. Yeah. It's under, right? Yeah. Right. right. Oh, ah, you're done. I was like, <laughs> that doesn't look right. <laughs> I got too excited. Yo, you like this, uh, what? Hey job, this flake. You like the flake here? Oh shit, metallic. The galaxy look, the galaxy flakes. Coming look who's mad, Yo, bro. say hi to the vlog. What's good, what's dude? What's good, what's good? <laughs> Holy shit. Look a little different, dude. Alright, we're going to test fit the bumper. Got the oh, ring, uh, valence on. So they're going to tell you at oh, the yeah? Honda dealership that... Did you? <laughs> no, did you? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want your conversation on YouTube. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> okay, so they're going to tell you at the Honda dealership that... This bumper does not fit your base model and it's because the VIN in the system says it doesn't but it 100% does. So we're going to test fit it because I want to know how far out I need the exhaust tip and if I need to get it fabricated somewhere then rip wall it. Alright, let's oh, test fit it. I do. Yeah, shit. Right. right now it's like this. I hope it holds, bro. I need it to go out yeah, like this. Right? Did you cut too much? No, I didn't cut too much. I just... It's not really meant for this car. Okay, I'm not. Yo, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> Meds are filming here. Okay, so here's the test fit. It's too short. I have to get extensions. So, that's kind of an L. So, we have to go to Home Depot now? I'll bet just go to Home Depot another day and get a clamp and an extension. Yeah, it's a little short. Might have to continue this video a little later. Yo, you know what we're probably gonna need to buy on top of tubes? Or oh, the pipes? Like these, these things, the clamps. Yeah, so maybe... So we don't have to weld anything. Okay, nice. so a little bit of a failure today. But kind of really. You know what? Yo, Greg, come over. I'm gonna show this in the video. Okay, so basically, I have to keep cutting the muffler tip because it's slanted until this these uh, fins can fit on, or like the closing clamp part. And uh, now I have clamped on, but because I had to cut so much, I already know that it's too inset for my diffuser. So I'm just gonna have to get an extension another day, or maybe get it fabricated at a muffler shop. But for now, I'm just gonna put the bumper on. It's already 8.30, we haven't eaten yet. And I'm just gonna call it for a day, leave it on like this. It's gonna look kind of ugly, but whatever. It's a part of the process. They're pretty tight now, so I don't think they're gonna fall off if I'm driving. Same thing for the other side. 
So yeah, I'm gonna throw the bumper back on so I can actually drive this car and not have it like naked. Uh, but it doesn't look that bad. Not too bad actually. I need to aim it. it down. Yeah, I need to aim it up. Yeah. I can do that with the screws though. From the side view is gonna be a little fucked up. Oh yeah, let me move it side. It's a little too inset. Oh okay, yeah. Oh, like oh, a oh. tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think OEM is pretty close to this. I think OEM's inset. Let's go your neighbors, bro. Oh shit. You're Anthony, look at this. Take a break, bro. Okay. What? Are you ready? Okay, go. Okay, head to the side. Okay. Okay, ready? What are you doing? I don't trust you, dude. What the fuck? Nah, no, okay, I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you already saw it before. I'll show you one. Huh? Put the garb up. Nah, 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 I'm good. No, trust me. Nah, I don't do it. I could tell how, how tall your kids will be oh, if I measure yeah. your arms. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? You have to stick them up. Yeah. Trust me, dude. Okay. You have to go forward like a zombie. Oh. Trust me, seriously. Okay, I, trust me. Okay. okay. Yeah, I see it. I was gonna say the thing. That's why I was like, head to the side, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, nah. 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 I go like this. And you go like, nah. Wait, no sense. Oh, okay, okay. And then you go like, nah. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, oh my! You're supposed to lock it, but I oh, get the yeah, point. I get the point. <laughs>